coordinate transformation. Would we introduce we introduce this term called orthonormal coordinate okay. This is this will define six degrees of freedom. This will be used for addressing or uh, capturing to eat the six degrees of freedom. What are those six degrees of freedom? Up, down, side, side, front, back. Huh? Up, down, side, side, front, back. So, three degrees of freedom are three translational degrees of freedom. There's X, Y, Z, and then H, Y, Y. Three. Rotational. So this would be, you can say this is x, y, z or uh, translation of motion in x, y, z and this would be something like theta x, theta y, theta z. Okay. And this, so you are, uh, you are not changing your orientation, for example, my position here with respect to the this thing would be described as so many degrees x, so sorry, so many units x. If each of this is one unit, think about this as each of one unit. Okay. So what you do is so many units in the x direction, so many units in the y direction, so many units in the z direction. And you do the same thing with three rotational degrees of freedom, which is angles. So many degrees, so many degrees. Here it is so many units and so many degrees. What is this orthonormal coordinate system or orthonormal basis? What we do is ortho is what? It just means perpendicular. Okay. This normal is unit. Okay. It's a combination of so we already talked about this. Let's say this is your X or I. This is Y or J and this is Z or K. So here it is, ortho means I dotted with J is what? Hmm? That's cross. So here it is, zero. There is a, what is the definition of I dot with J? What is the definition of dot product? A, A, B, cosine theta. That is ij cosine theta, right? What is theta? 90. Here it is 90. So that orthogonal means, ortho means i and j are perpendicular. i, j and k are perpendicular to each other. So this is 0. g dotted with k is 0 and k dotted with i is also so this is what ortho or orthogonal means. And the normal normal part is what is i dotted with i? One. One. That is the g 
We'll start with <clears throat> two degree of freedom. So let's take, for example, <clears throat> take a look at this. Uh, eraser okay now the initial orientation of this eraser is like this I rotate this orientation by like this how do we capture the how do we capture the orientation which axis are you following which? so let's say this is X okay this is Y and this is C what axis have I rotated the X. X axis right so what we'll do is Look at this. So this is my Y and this is Z. And this is X. It just means this is coming out like this. What is a new this is the original orientation, right? You understand? So now this is this. Are these two the same? Yeah. They are the same, right? This is just a, a more 3D representation. This is just this board is what plane is this board in? Z Y plane. Okay, and this the X is coming out. Now the new orientation can be defined by Y prime and Z prime and X would be the same, right? So this is the new orientation. And let's say this angle is theta. This angle will also be theta. Orientation of x, y, y. Of prime Z prime in terms of X Y Z this <coughs> so this is what we do is we express the orientation in terms of this original orientation. You see it? So what is 
What is y here? <coughs> Can you say x is x? It's the same axis. What is y? The y bar. If you look at y bar or y prime, think about it. What is this component? What is the x component of this? X component of this, this vector? It's zero. So it is 0 x plus sin theta. But we do a lot of right? Right? We do a lot of It's cosine, right? Yes, that's right. So let me call this. In what direction? In y direction. Right? You see it? This would be this cosine theta. Right? Do you have to move the x direction again? X direction is 0. Right? There is no x direction because nothing has changed. Okay, so this the y component is this, component is this, and it is in y direction. Right? Plus y z sine theta in z. Z bar. Okay. And similarly, Z bar. Now tell me what is Z bar? What is the X component of Z bar? Zero. Plus. Tell me what is the y component of z? It's minus Why is it minus? Why is it minus Tony? It's on the other side of the uh, axis. It's the positive y is in this direction, right? So if you see this is the y component, correct? It has to be negative. And it is sine theta. Okay. And what direction is this? Y plus Z Z cosine theta in the Hmm. I understand why on y prime the x is zero, but on z prime he was talking about the x is also zero. I'm missing instead of the y being zero. So here, if you look at this, uh, see this is the initial. This is the initial configuration, right? And. So now you know what is y, what is x. This is y, this is z. Right? The new y is this, the new z is this. Right? Okay. New z is this. Does it have any component in the x direction? Alright, 
it has moved only in the yz plane if it had moved let's say if it had moved something like this or this way then it would have a positive or negative z component got it so what we do is this is called we express this x prime y prime v e prime is equal to zero So does this make sense? What I have done is x prime is simply x, right? If you multiply this matrix, you you know how to write a system of simultaneous equation as a matrix. Everybody knows this. So this is the system of these this system of three simultaneous equations written as a matrix. So x prime is simply equal to x. The way you multiply is first row and this thing. So you get x. Y prime is 0x component cosine theta and sine theta which is y component. Now tell me where did this go? So you have missed this y, y. It should be a tensor of so where did I have not written that? You should. Why have, why have I not written that? Think about it. Oh, of course. Because the unit vector term the y makes a let's say uh the thing that I No, okay, then I'm not It is there. It's what? It's not big. What is it? No, that's the The y, the scale of y is not easy to think. What is so? What is cosine theta? Now, if you if you look at cosine theta. <laughs> So what you want to have is y dotted with y prime is equal to a b cosine well y y prime cosine theta right because these are both are unit vectors. What is this? By definition, what is this? By definition, it is y and y. Y cosine theta, right? What is this? This is one, and this is one. So they are both unit vectors. By definition, they are both they are end up with just cosine. Okay. Now tell me. This will be part of your assignment. Yes. Does the z for x has to be zero? Why do you have a one? Hmm? Why do you have a one for the z? You're right. This is z. Okay. So this is here. This is the. This is 
this is called a rotation wheel. Okay, the matrix in between is called the rotation wheel. And what it describes here is it describes the orientation of this. So there are two orientations, right? First, this was the first orientation, this was the second orientation, right? This describes the orientation of this orientation with respect to this orientation. You understand? Sure. Yes. This orientation with respect to this orientation. Yes. So, what would we use um, coordinate transformation for? Would it be like rotation of the planet? Rotation of, let's say, orientation of uh, spacecraft with respect to Earth. Okay. Right? It's very important. So it's orbiting like this. Right. And it goes so, like that. So, yeah. so, that is different. So, this orientation is. You have to precisely know what orientation the satellite is. For example, if you are communicating and if it's a, one of those uh, uh, directional antennas, directional antennas are dish antennas. Your dish antenna has to be really pointed to the satellite right? like this. So you know, need to know what orientation the satellite is so you can... <coughs> and even when you are... The other thing we, we talked about was... Uh, my point? The other thing we talked about was when we were uh, when we are going in orbit. If you are going in a circular orbit and you want to escape, that time also your orientation, the orientation of spacecraft is very important. Why is that? When you fire your thrusters, if you are not oriented right, yes, instead of accelerating, you need to decelerate. So, in space orientation plays a very important role. <coughs> now here, this is, we call this fundamental rotation about Just like there could be a fundamental rotation about x axis, there could be a fundamental rotation about y and z. So it's like think about this. If you are only going in the x, x along the x axis, what would be your y and z component? It would be the same as before or zero, right? If you are going exactly on the y line, then it is or x line would be zero. But if I am here, and I am going this way, my y component and z component are not changing. Okay. So that is what is happening here. Here it is kind of the opposite. If you are rotating about an axis, the other two components are changing. Okay? That, that component, the x component itself here is not changing. So fundamental rotation about Y axis is given by and uh, we denote this rotation matrix as like this. You can say one
Okay. These are now does this make sense? The fundamental rotation about y axis is this, and the fundamental rotation about z axis is this. Okay. So here you can see this this one. It makes sense because y would be if, if it rotates about y axis. What would this be? This one. It will be zero x y plus zero z. Right. It will be zero x y zero. Yeah. Right. So that is what you get. That is where you get this one from. If it is z, it will be. This would be zero zero just z or one, and that is where you get. And these are just based on direction. Now the way you read this is pay attention here, guys, because this is going to be really hard. Okay, and this is going to be part of your next exam. The way you read this is rotation matrix associated with one rotation. One rotation is what? One rotation means it's, it's associated with x axis. Okay. So x is synonymous to one is synonymous to x. Here. You got it? One is synonymous to x axis. So the x axis is first axis, right? That's what x, y, z. One rotation by the rotation angle is theta. If the rotation angle was psi, this would be cosine psi, sine psi. You see? The angle will change. This rotation is just an angle. And this is rotation matrix associated with y or two rotations. Two rotation is y axis and the angle is theta. And so similarly, this is the third rotation, third rotation associated with z axis and it is same. Now you have to, there is a very easy way to remember this. The diagonal elements are So the first thing you are going to do is if it is 1 you are going to populate the first row and first column. You see it? Yeah. The element in the first row and first column is 1 if it is a 1 rotation. If it is a 2 rotation, the element in the second row and second column is 1. Okay. So you Shouldn't there be negative sign because n are This one? This one? Yeah. So this will change. So x and z, the off diagonal elements, sorry, the diagonal elements are always cosine theta. What are the diagonal elements here? These are diagonal elements. Okay. There's one cosine. Cosine theta, always. Cosine theta. Cosine theta. Okay. The off diagonal elements are sine theta. For x and z, the bottom half is negative. For so y, is, the top half is negative. You see? There is too much to digest. I think I see that. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to draw it out. I'm just going to draw it out. But you can always remember this when you start out, just populate the row and column. And then go. Okay. So, we will look at this in a little more detail next time. How come it's double red line? How come the order is double red line?
the start. So what this what we do is scalar. We don't use any underline. Vector we use one underline. Matrix we use two underline. This is a matrix. Guys, let's meet a little early for the controls class today. Let's say about 9.30. Mm. Just let uh, all the classmates send them a text or something.